Ford Cowgirl here. We are uh, in, at the back deck again because that's the best way to do wine. And I am at the uh, home of my neighbor and dear friend Michelle here. Hi, Michelle. It is Memorial Day weekend here in the States. Two, four day up in uh, Canada. And Canada. <laughs> we haven't even started drinking yet in uh, Canada. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. So happy two, four day to all my, my uh, Canadian friends. But uh, Memorial Day weekend, of course, we know what the reason for Memorial Day is here. So uh, cheers to all of those who have served, are currently serving, or uh, the families who have lost members who have served. We, uh, we certainly appreciate you. Um, but uh, we decided that it was time to have a Memorial Day uh, wine tasting, impromptu, wines to remember. And um, so here we are. We have a whole we've got a bunch that we're going to try. Looking for the proper value for, you know, your, your to get togethers over the holiday weekend here for your barbecues, because inevitably this summer you're going to have them. The first one we are doing is from Pacific Rim. It is a Riesling. Now, I know a lot of people go, I don't like Riesling. But there are... I do. You do, and I, I can appreciate that. There are different types of Riesling. There are your sweet Rieslings, your dry Rieslings, and the dry Rieslings, I would say, you don't want to just sit on the back porch and just sip them. You want to pair them with food. That's when they're ideal. Um, and then there's your semi-sweets. Riesling is great with all sorts of foods. But in this particular case, it's a great summer sipper. Uh, this one is, like I said, Pacific uh, Rim Riesling from 2011. It is made with organic grapes. We are going green here. Absolutely, because that's very cool too. Out of Columbia Valley and uh, in, in uh, Washington. And I was telling Michelle, because she's like, you know, I don't like, you don't like those dry wines, do you? They're okay. They're okay? No, you can be honest. I like the white better. You like, you like the, the uh, sweeter whites, but you don't like dry. You were telling me you hate dry. And you can be honest. This is what we're here for. Yes, ma'am. All right. So we've got, um, all of these are $15 and less, by the way. So we've got some good value wines. This one, what I was telling her is that if you look... On our labels here in the U.S., uh, you've got, they're required to put the percentage of alcohol on it. So you go looking, and with the, with the whites in particular, well, with any of them, but with this, it is 10.5% alcohol. Now, if you get, I would say, 9 or under, you're getting into the, the sweet category. Actually, uh, more about 8 or under, you're sweet. Uh, somewhere between 9 and 12, you get the, the semi-sweet, semi-dry, depending on how far on the spectrum you are. And then from about 12 on up, you're starting to get into the drier ones. Now we can go into the fruit content of the reds, but that's for another, another video. We are at 10 and a half, so we are somewhere right just about in the middle. Now, Michelle, we're going to go ahead, pick up our glasses here. And, well, and yes, cheers to you. Take a sniff. What do you smell? What, what do you think you smell in there? I, I smell sweet. You smell sweet, kind of like a honeyish yes. flowers? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, any kind of fruits? Mm -hmm. You don't smell this, the fruit? No? No. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It really does not. It is, it's a little citrus fruit in there, maybe a little lemon or orange. Um, and you got the flowers in there, maybe a nice jasmine, very floral. Um, kind of a honey, but uh, here's the, the most important part. Take a sip. Let's see how you go. You like that? A lot, yeah. It is crisp. It's refreshing, but it's not so sweet that it's kind of you know gumming up the the tongue and the mouth and everything. No, it's very good. It'd be perfect. I'm thinking with with some grilled chicken. Oh, if we grilled up some pork chops. See, Michelle is our Martha Stewart in the neighborhood, and so she can make anything. She is fabulous. What would you, what do you think you'd put this with? I don't know. I have pork chops. You had pork chops? You did? I do have pork chops. Perhaps we should make them. I've got some too. Maybe we need to do a neighborhood pork, you know, um, a grilled pork chop with maybe an apple or a honey glaze, something like that. Uh, maybe something with, uh, even with chipotle. A little chipotle grilled uh, pork chop. Since the sweetness would offset the, the hot spicy, we're not going to have any left to pair it up with, are we? No, we're not going to be pairing this up with food. We'll find another one because I think she's going to drink it all with me. And uh, maybe you should too. Pacific Rim is like one of the best 
wineries I found um, for value white wines here in the U.S. Columbia Valley puts out some great wines. Check them out. It is the Pacific Rim Riesling 2011, made with organic grapes here. Let me get a get in here. Um, even her dog wanted a glass of this, so you know it's good. Uh, it is scooter approved. Uh, so, and this one, I'm gonna say this one was was somewhere in the $12 range. So, you know, great value. Pick it up quickly. It's Mark Cowgirl with uh, Martha Stewart of Rain Tree Lake saying Happy Memorial Day. Cheers.